you're self-confident, that much is obvious. But do you believe in anything outside of yourself? Bigger than yourself? I'd like to think so. But the world doesn't make believing very easy. Agreed. But we have to hope that all this suffering isn't for nothing. It'd be way fucked up if this was all for nothing. I see you're conflicted about this. But not despairing. That's something. I just don't want to see life as a constant struggle for nothing, I guess. I see. Thank you for sharing this with me. Oh, here. I have to go, but... I have to tell you something first. What's that? But I know I don't always have the right words. But I do enjoy our talks. I'm glad. I do too. See you again. Soon, I hope. Yeah, I heard. 
done it again, Hayden. As I expected you would. <laughs> what have you brought? H.G. Wells was a master of science fiction, in part because he knew his science. It wasn't humanity that prevailed over the Martians, but germs. <laughs> germs, man! Can you believe it? <laughs> so simple, yet so small. Would that our plight were suddenly resolved in that way. Kipling's The Jungle Book has an underlying theme of abandonment, followed by themes of adoption and nurturing. Oh, how so many today feel abandonment. Hopefully, nurturing souls remain. What am I saying? Of course they do. You are one such soul. It's beautiful, Aiden. This collection, it's... I know, I know you think me a fool, but I am moved. Thank you for this gift. This gift to me. This gift to the world. <laughs>